Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something that I have put off for a very long time. Um, in 2018 I'm working on getting back into the swing of uploading regularly, but if you guys have watched my full face using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, if not I will link it in the little card thing wherever it is up here, and you guys can watch that before this, but if you have seen that, I know a lot of you really wanted to see a routine using Shape Tape as my foundation because I had mentioned that I am so in love with it as a foundation and when I want my makeup to last all day and be bulletproof if my eyes are watery or if my skin or if I know I'm gonna need my makeup to last from 9 a.m. up until like who even knows like the middle of the night this is the routine I do and this is what I use as my foundation because I find that it is completely bulletproof it does not go anywhere it doesn't dry me out but it doesn't make me overly oily it is one with a skin everything sits so nicely on top like the highlight doesn't look extra crunchy and dry I don't feel like when I make an expression that my face is gonna crack but also this does not go anywhere at all. Now with that being said, I do know that a Shape Tape foundation is in the works as of right now and I will definitely review that as soon as I get my hands on it, as soon as it launches. I don't know any details but I did see some little sneak peeks on Instagram. When that comes out, I will definitely do that. But as for now, this is what I love doing with my Shape Tape. I love the Shape Tape concealer. I know. Take a shot every time he says Shape Tape. I got that comment. I know. But this concealer, I have a very strong passion for it. I think it's great. I think that it beats out a lot of other concealers. Um, it's definitely a favorite of mine. And without rambling on any further, let's get straight into the video. Quick thing, makeup. Um, my lip color is Nude Sticks Fringe Intense Matte Lip and Cheek. I love this matte lip formula because it is very matte but it is hydrating, it's not crepey, cracky, or anything like that. I will link it down below. I do have a discount code, it's just DG10 at checkout. Um, but you can also find these in Sephora and Ulta and Macy's. And yeah, moving on, let's get into this look. All right guys, so let's get right into it. I already prepped my skin, I exfoliated all of that, and then I used to hydrate my Aven Zeracom Lipid Replenishing Cream. This is for face or body. Um, it's good for infants or like random just skin irritations. I use it because I use a retinol and my skin tends to get irritated from retinol sometimes. You get peeling, you get dryness, sensitivity sometimes. So I always have this and I always like to use this under my more matte products. That way the moisturizer counteracts your dryness so the matte products sit on top of the skin in a very natural and more flattering manner as opposed to putting matte products on dry skin which can tend to look crunchy or crepey or anything like that. So I always recommend using a very good moisturizer over a very good primer. I would really make sure that your skin is prepped for actual makeup. So let's get into it. So first things first, I know a lot of you are thinking why use concealer as a foundation. Now Shape Tape is in a league of its own in my opinion. It's just stunning on the skin and it works for so many different skin types. It doesn't crease, it doesn't settle, and it just lasts on me all day. This is my routine when I want my makeup to last from 9 a.m. to like 11 p.m. Where I know I'm not going to be able to touch up that much, I might be able to blot a little bit, and I just want everything to look flawless and not shift around or move, or if it's really hot outside. You know, it's my emergency makeup in case I need it to stay on and I don't want to worry about it. I do have a bunch of shades of Shape Tape. I have bought so many. Um, I know when it first came out, it was very hard to find in store. So I was always buying as many as I could because I thought it would be like an ongoing issue of it being out of stock. Now, luckily, you can find it a lot easier. So for my foundation shade, I'm going to mix a little bit of light and light medium, I think. Now with this, I love the applicator of it, and I know Shape Tape actual foundation is coming out, but I wanted to do this in the meantime, and I had meant to do this from when I actually made that video, the full face using Shape Tape video, but I have lagged because I have not been uploading as much as I should. I'm going to add a little bit of light medium just to give it some more color. Now what I love is that these colors don't oxidize throughout the day. Um, my main issue with skin in general is that my neck is very light and my face is a completely different color. Like, it's a lot darker and it has a lot more redness. So I always have to use something a little bit lighter if I'm not gonna tan my neck. And a lot of times I don't want to use self-tanner or anything like that. And if you guys are wondering about this huge sponge, it's the Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge. Everyone always like cracks up in the comments about this, but you guys, 
I have not stopped using this since I started. It is so amazing. It makes my foundation go on 10 times faster. Now with Shape Tape, you definitely want to make sure to blend it out fast because it will set. And you guys might also be thinking, does this run out really fast? Like, do you have to replace it all the time? Um, no, I don't do it every single day. So maybe if you're doing it like constantly and using a lot of product, I'm sure you run out faster than a foundation. But you get a good amount of product with this concealer. So the product really sets fast and you can go without setting it if you're more on the dry side. I would actually recommend it that way because it does definitely set on its own. And I really like doing these videos just to show you guys how to really utilize products that most of us do have at home in the best way possible. So if you were to have like a really big zit or anything that you're really looking to cover up, I would dot the product on that exact spot. Like I have a dark spot right here. And I would let it set for a little bit because this sets down to such a long wearing finish and it kind of has that like film forming type of ingredient in it. It kind of just dries down and sets so when you go to blend it out the pigment really stays there and realistically what you're doing is really buffing out the edges so it becomes seamless with your skin. So I just press very lightly with my sponge. And if you are more dry and you find that a brush is picking up a lot of dead skin, use a sponge. I don't use brushes for my foundation anymore just because I get very dry and I feel like when I'm buffing a foundation to my skin, it gets streaky or if I have dry patches, it really emphasizes them. I really like pressing product into the skin and really making sure it looks fun with your skin. It's my favorite way to do my skin in general when I'm doing foundation. So moving on, um, I love Shape Tape under the eyes, but it can be drying for me sometimes. So I like to mix a little bit of hydration with it. So you can mix an eye cream. My under eyes aren't that dry today but I'm not using a ton. Now, again, this might be a ton for someone else, but for me, it's really not. I'm mostly focusing it in the front because I really want to brighten up that area. And then I'm using it more towards the base of my chin. And this is the shade Fair. Before, we were using light and light medium. Right on the lip, and then right on the bridge of my nose and then right here. And the great thing about this big applicator is I haven't had to dip back into the product. I also put a little bit right in this area, back here, kind of highlight the jawline. And I really like going at the base of the chin because that's gonna elongate the face, and I want to elongate the face as much as I can, so yeah. Um, you can leave this under your eyes for a while to kind of let it set in more and you get more coverage, but for me, I feel like it almost like it's a little bit too set and it's kind of hard to blend out. So I start with the lower parts of the face. And also you want to work in small layers. I applied the Shape Tape directly on top of a moisturizer. So automatically it kind of shears out and looks more skin like because I'm putting it on top of very hydrated skin. I'm not putting it on top of a matte primer or anything else. And this lasts all day for me. It doesn't crease or crack, which I love. Alright, so now I'm going to do some cream contouring and I'm going to use the shade Mahogany. And since this is so pigmented, I'm going to use literally three drops. And I always bronze up my forehead area. And a little of this product really does go a long way. Now realistically, you don't need all these different shades. Um, you can do and kind of pick and choose and tailor your foundation routine to what I'm showing you. Um, you can use the perfect concealer that's already amazing for you or the perfect cream bronzer, but there's just different ways that I like to use this product and it's very long wearing and I've found the perfect way for me personally to wear it all day and my perfect long wearing the you can't touch this kind of foundation routine because it honestly will last me so long it's not even funny and I have worn it for over 12 hours and it does not come off. So same side where I had the product before just to help this blend in with the skin because again it does dry down pretty fast and I always need a cream bronzing contouring product no matter what like that's one thing I can't live without unless I'm wearing a hat I don't even put makeup on my forehead but outside of that I always use some kind of cream 
So I'm gonna go off camera now and finish off the rest of my face. I could totally get away with just setting this with powder, adding some bronzer, like transfer some powder, adding bronzer and stuff like that, and then it's fine. Um, and that's usually what I do. So it's very easy, very simple. Again, this is my personal preference for the perfect routine to very flawless and made up skin, but also lightweight, but at the same time long wearing. So it's, it's just the perfect combination for me personally. And yeah, I will be right back to finish off this video. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look with the makeup fully done and set. Honestly, I am so obsessed with how the Shape Tape Concealer sits as a foundation, and I am beyond excited to see what is to come with the Shape Tape Foundation. I know that I saw it teased by Tarte and Ulta. I believe it was just this week or like last night, and honestly, I can't even wait. Like, I can't. So I'm very excited for that, but in the meantime, you can definitely get a comparable look to this. I don't know if the Shape Tape Foundation is going to be very similar in actual consistency or if it's going to be the exact same thing or what's going to happen with that. But in the meantime, I genuinely do love using the Shape Tape Concealer as a foundation. Um, you can even mix it in with something that's more hydrating. So say you're more on the dry side, you could do a couple swipes of this with your It Cosmetic CC Cream or Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk that might be a little bit more prone to sliding around throughout the day in the areas where you need it and where you are prone to getting patchiness so you can even use in pinpoint areas like for me if I wanted a very 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 dewy look I would use a dewy foundation but I would definitely use something like this on my nose and center of the forehead and then blend that dewy foundation on top so that way you have a long wearing product with something that's more glowy if that makes sense that way you have the best of both worlds you get the glowy skin but I still was able to achieve a very glowy and seamless look and even if I zoom you in you can still see that it looks very one with the skin. I don't have a lot of creasing or texture. I do have a little bit of peeling on my nose because I used a Retin-A the other night, a 1% Retin-A the other night, because I wanted a little bit of like a flash peel, um, but that's my own fault. But you can still see it's very forgiving in the pore area. My problem area is right here and then my nose and sometimes the forehead, but the forehead is a continuous issue. Um, yeah, I love it. I'm completely obsessed. I don't even know. I'm running out of adjectives to describe how in love I am with this. So again, overall, this is my go-to routine when I want a very long-wearing, full-coverage, matte, but believable look to the skin. Again, it's my personal preference. You don't have to do it. This is just me showing what works for me. And a lot of you I know had requested this from my previous full face using shape tape video. I just really wanted to go more in depth. And recently I also discovered ways to get more out of your shape tape. So when you think it's done, there's a lot more product in it. So if you want a video on that, I can definitely make that video. Just give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. Um, yeah. I'm not rambling any further. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you then.